Welcome to lecture number 39 of the series Unreal 5 of Aquas and in this lecture we'll create a fluid simulation of a fountain inside Blender and then we'll import that simulation in Unreal. Okay, so let's get started. I'll open Blender. I'll select this curtain to remove the claw simulation. I'll delete this wind force field. And let's bring in a UV sphere to model the fountain pot. Let's find a position for this sphere. I'll go into the side view. I'll go into the edit mode and I'll delete these vertices. I'll pull this up on Z axis. I'll go into the top view and I'll delete this side. Let's go into the modifiers tab to add a mirror modifier. Let's enable snapping. I'll scale this down. And I'll snap this part at this point. I'll disable my snapping. Let's move this and place it right here. Yeah. I'll go into the edit mode. Let's select these two faces. These two. And I'll delete them. Okay. And now I'll slide this vertex on its edge. Yeah, I'll do the same thing for this one as well. Yeah, okay. Now I'll select these vertices and I'll extrude them on X axis. Let's go into the side view. Let's extrude this on X. I'll rotate this on Y. I'll extrude this on X like that. Yeah, I think this is fine. Let's select these vertices. And I'll move them on Y axis. Yeah, okay. Let's go into the modifiers tab and I'll add a subdivision surface modifier. I'll increase the level to 2 and let's add a solidify modifier. Let's increase the thickness. Yeah, I think this is fine. Let's go into the edit mode and I'll select this vertex. I'll move this on Y. I'll do the same thing for this one as well. Yeah, okay. Let's select this object and I'll apply shade smooth. And let's enable auto smooth. Okay, yeah. Now I'll apply all of these modifiers. I'll select this object. Let's move this object to a new collection. I'll rename this as Fountain animation let's create a new scene okay and now I'll copy this collection and I'll paste that collection in this empty scene so that it takes less time to complete the simulation okay I'll select this object I'll apply the fluid simulation I'll change the type to effector okay now I'll go into the top view let's add a cube I'll scale this cube up okay I'll go into the edit mode 
I'll select these vertices, I'll move them on x-axis. I'll select these vertices and I'll move them on Z. Okay. Let's move these vertices on X and these vertices on Z. Okay. And now I'll apply the fluid simulation on this cube and I'll change the type to domain. Okay. Yeah. Let's go into the top view and I'll add a UV sphere. I'll place it here. I'll go into the side view. I'll pull this up on Z axis and let's scale this down on Z. I'll move and place it right here. Let's scale this down on Z. Yeah. I'll apply fluid simulation on this object and let's change the type to flow. I'll change the flow type to liquid and flow behavior to inflow. Okay. Yeah. Let's scale this down on y axis. I'll scale this on x. Let's move this on Y. Maybe scale this down. Yeah, okay. Let's go into the side view and I'll select this domain. I'll change the domain type to liquid. And initially I'll set the resolution to view into 96. I'll decrease the time scale to 0.3. Okay. I'll change the simulation method to APIC. I'll set the end frame to 500. I'll change the type to modular and make sure you check this box. Okay. Let's go into the wireframe mode and let's pick the data. Okay, so our baking is complete. I'll set this end frame to 500 and let's run the simulation. Yeah, our collisions are not working. So I'll select this object. And let's increase the surface thickness to 0.2. I'll select my domain and let's bake the simulation. Okay, so our fluid bake is complete. Let's run the simulation. Yeah, okay, let's go into the side view. I'll move to frame number one. I'll select this fluid source. And let's move this on Z axis. I'll fractionally scale this up on Z. I'll rename this as inflow. Okay, I'll select my domain and I'll rename this as domain. I'll select this part and I'll rename this as effector. Okay, I'll select my inflow. I'll create a copy. I'll place it maybe right here. I'll scale this up. And I'll change the flow behavior to outflow. Okay. I'll rename this as outflow. I'll select my domain. I'll free the data. And I'll increase this number to 144. 
I'll check this box. I'll change this to all. Yeah. And I'll pick everything. Okay, so our bake is complete. Let's uh, run the simulation. Yeah, okay. Let's now select the domain. Okay, and I'll go into file, export, alembic, I'll select my folder in which I want to save this alembic file and I'll rename this as water fountain simulation. I'll check this box, selected objects, I'll take normals off, I'll uncheck these two boxes and I'll export this ABC file. Okay. Now I'll select this object, I'll go into the edit mode and let's select this one as well and this one okay and I'll mark the seams I'll select everything and I'll unwrap it now I'll press Q on my keyboard and I'll export this object in FBX Let's rename this as Fountain. I'll select my Blender to Unreal preset. I'll check this box and I'll export the FBX file. Let's go back in Unreal Engine. I'll open Unreal Engine. I'll go into the 3D Models folder. I'll create a new folder. I'll rename this as Fountain. Okay. And let's import the FBX file. I'll drag this object into the scene. Okay, I'll move this to a different folder. Let's rename this as Fountain. I'll go into the details panel and let's type in the location values. Let's go into the animations folder and I'll import the ABC file. I'll change this to geometry cache. I'll check these two boxes. Okay. And let's scale this up to 100. I'll type in 90 on X rotation and I'll click on import. I'll select this geometry cache and I'll bring this into my scene. Okay. I'll press F to focus. Let's move this on X axis. Let's run the simulation. Yeah, I think I should rotate this on X axis. I'll rotate this on X axis by 180. And let's run the simulation. Yeah, okay. I'll go into the top view. And let's adjust the position of this animation, okay. I'll go back into the perspective view. 
let's pull this down on Z axis. Yeah, I think this is okay. Let's uh, play the simulation. I think I should fractionally move this on Y axis. Yeah. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay, let's now open Megaskins library to find a material for this fountain pot. Okay, I'll open Quixel Bridge. I'll open the surfaces collection. Let's open this marble collection and I'm gonna use this material for my fountain pot. I'll add this into my project. Let's apply this material on this object. Okay. Yeah. And for this fluid, I'll search for this material in my content browser and I'll apply this material. Okay. Let's run the simulation. Yeah, you can also use the lumen glass material for this fluid. Okay, let's search for the lumen glass material. Let's create a copy and I'll apply this material on this geometry cache. Let's open this material. And it will take some time to prepare the shaders. Okay. Let's increase the index of refraction to 1.33. I'll set the metallic value to 0. I'll change the opacity to 0 0.2. Roughness to 0. And specular to 1. Okay. I'm going to keep the base color as it is. Let's now run the simulation. Okay, so yes, that's it for this lecture. In the next lecture, we'll create a fluid simulation for the faucet of the bathroom. Okay, so yes, I'll see you guys in the next lecture.